what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i haven't really been updating or uploading as much as i wanted to because <laughs> i i kind of broke my hand so that kind of set me back a little bit because otherwise i would have had a couple videos up by now certain things but long story short i got some updates on the truck um that i've had done some more so than me actually doing them kind of myself because my hand but one of the first things is pretty obvious we did the upper and lower brows they don't 100 percent match with white but that's okay because those are just kind of temporary because we're gonna do some wrapping i'm gonna have my one buddy wrap a bunch of stuff for me and once we find the actual right color white that matches the paint then the brows get redone to match the paint as well um so that i ordered a short antenna to uh, last night at like two in the morning because i'm sick of that tall antenna i think is like freaking i don't know three feet tall i think it's tall as hell it hits our garage really bad i just trying to come back and smack my windshield but another thing that we're actually going to be doing today is yeah this is a mess my bad is i got some cheap rock lights for now um i want to do an eight pod setup but this is just a temporary because i'm going down to auto motion tomorrow uh you know, open them once you see you see what they look like so these are going to be a temporary thing they're not going to be on there forever just probably a couple weeks couple months whatever whenever i get a chance maybe it'll probably until next spring and i'll probably put the better ones on come spring when i'm not running it all winter long but these are just the cheaper set i bought off a of buddy because he uh accidentally ordered two sets one night he was ordered them in the middle of the night got the confirmation confirmed it without even looking and then all of a sudden two of them showed up and he's like i don't need two sets so he sold them to me fairly cheap less than he paid for them and they're brand new so i was like oh fuck christ i can't can't pass it up so i got those to do today also got that to do today because that is going back to the dealership hopefully today um let's talk about trying to do some buyouts or turn my lease in one of the two the grill is out of it right now because we're putting the stock one back in it everything else is back to stock on it minus there's a couple things i have to pull off yet which shouldn't take too long i got a jb weld my stock grill because it's still broken it's all cracked from the accident because i put the aftermarket one in but i had to put the stock one back in it there's the aftermarket one there so that's still kind of broke but that'll be all kind of hidden so hopefully they don't notice that so well, i'm gonna jv weld some of that i'll show you that guys uh, show you guys what that looks like when it's done there i'll throw back back together quick and then uh yeah then we can start on the rock lights guys get those done see what those look like and then i gotta start cleaning the truck polish the wheels hopefully i got mother's polish and a polish and uh, wheel thing buffer thing not the 100 percent right way to do it but it should get them a little cleaner than they are for auto motion and then uh yeah and then I'll try to get some videos when I'm down there. I don't know if I'm going down by myself yet or if I got anybody going with me, but I'll try to get the best videos I can. It's a little hard with one hand, but we'll see what we can come up with. This should still be, should be a hell of nice car. I heard there's supposed to be some rain, but we'll see. We'll see what we come up with. So we'll get started on well, on the grill, and then, uh, yeah, we can start doing some other shit. All right, so I got some of the JB Weld on here. I got a lot of the cracks filled in. And I put some tape on here to hold this down, to try to hold this little piece down a little bit. Mainly, I just didn't want this this outer piece to flop. So I kind of, I, well, I zip tied this here. And it kind of holds that back. And then this kind of holds all that to shift together. So that all should pretty much just hold that grill together now so they don't even notice it's broke. Because from the outside, you can't really tell. Other than there's a little crack right there. And then this is actually supposed to go all the way out to the outside. When I cut this smoothly, it's not nearly as noticeable. So once it's on the truck, you really shouldn't notice that, hopefully. But we'll start getting, wait till I drive a little bit, and I'm going to start pulling everything out of the other, other truck. Probably won't show you any of that, but then I'll be back once I start putting the grill back in. <music> So we got the truck put back to stock. Um, I was gonna take it to the dealership today, but I wanna have to actually inside detail uh, control. They're gonna detail it for me probably on Sunday. So we won't be taking this in today. We're gonna run to his house quick. And he's gonna spray some uh, odor eliminator or eliminator shit in there or whatever. Cause uh, kind of smells like cigarettes in there a little bit. Cause 
my girlfriend smokes a little bit. So, yeah, not smoking in this truck. She already knows that. But, we're gonna run over there quick. So, this truck's not been started since yesterday. And, I do a little cold start. I mean, it's kind of warm. It's probably, in the, it's probably close to 50. But, here's a little cold start. The first cold start for you guys. I have no freaking idea because I can't find nothing. So, I don't know. So, we're going to cruise over to Shell, spray that quick, and then when we get back, we're going to do rock lights. Okay? Okay. Hi, right, guys. We're almost back from Terrell's. I had to do some other errands in town. But, I think you can boost on the trailer. You guys haven't really seen much of this truck at all. home so we're gonna try to get this truck in the garage and see if uh hopefully it fits now because before with no trailer it kind of it touches the garage like the roof like if i put it in drive the roof of the, like the sun like the sunroof touches the fucking door frame so hopefully fingers crossed with the true gooseneck on it's got enough weight on it that it uh pushes it down so i get the whole truck in the garage to do the rock lights so we're gonna get it home and then we'll, we'll see what we come up with. All right guys, what's going on? So it's the next day, just putting it out there. I don't think we're gonna go to auto motion cause it's been fucking raining all day. And well, actually since last night. But anyway, we're starting to rock lights today. Didn't do them yesterday cause my Tanner was using the garage. So I got the kit here all laid out. Um, we got the four rock lights. I'm not really sure what these rubber pad things are for. I have no idea what these are for because the screws they give you aren't long enough to go through both. They don't screw into this to put it like on the back side of anything. So I'm not really sure what those are for. These are fuses if you put them into the fuse box. I'm putting you into my auxiliary switches on the truck because mine's got factory auxiliary switches. This is your constant power and then this is your uh, auxiliary wires so like this will hook to your battery and then this would hook to like a switch but i'm gonna hook both this and this to the same thing because i'm just gonna make them all on one switch so that way the power is run into this when the switch is on and it automatically tells it to, uh, <coughs> to um turn on with this uh, i got the four plugs i got all i got all the extension wires there the remote and then there's also a little keychain remote, zip tie, screws, whatever. Not sure why they give you this screwdriver because it does not fit literally anything in the kit that I have found. So I'm not quite sure why they even sent that. It doesn't fit any of the screws, doesn't fit anything because those are all Allens on there. So I have literally no idea why they sent that. Does it even fit anything on here? Oh, it could fit something on here. Maybe you had to put a battery in that or something. I don't know. But sorry for the rain noise but we're gonna get started on this we're gonna try to start putting them in sorry the garage is a mess it is fucking packed in here with stuff we had to clean it today but yeah let's get started on this all right so i'm wiring in the the main brain box whatever you want to call it right now i got my auxiliary wires up here um everything's labeled so i just gotta find the wire i'm gonna hook it up to number one i was gonna hook it up to my sixth switch but the cable for that is super thick, so I'm assuming that must be a higher amp uh, wire. See that one's how thick that wire is compared to all the other ones. Put my camera down in here. 
So I'm gonna use a different one because I'm gonna save that one for something that requires more amps or whatever. Something that's got more of a load on it with more lights or just something else I put on the truck. So we're gonna wire it into the first one, which should be this wire here, the brown and, no, nope, that ain't the one. God damn it. This one right here, the brown and green, or brown and orange, oh my God, I'm freaking dumb. So we're gonna wire that into that. And then uh, get the box hooked up. And then I'm going to hook just one rock light up to start with to see how it works and see what they look like. And then uh, we'll hang the other ones and run the rest of the wires. All right, so we finally got everything wired in. Um, I ran the box. I ran the box up on the, on the firewall because I don't think it's waterproof from what I understand. But I was able to do... Two extensions for each back rock light. One for that one. I had to do a short one from this for this side. Well, I had to do one on this side, but it was shorter to do because I couldn't get it up there otherwise. And I had enough to reach with two up here. It was tight, but it's it's where it sits. Now I just zip tied it up to the to this wire, and uh, right on there's a spot where the it holds on to the firewall right there, and I just put it on one on each side. Zip tied everything up to that. There's a little tab hanging off of this that I just zip tied to. Ran the uh, ground up to there. Power wire is wired into an upfitter switch. So as you can see right now, there's no rock lights. And I actually have to turn my key on. I shouldn't say the key, but the button. But then I flip my first upfitter switch. We got rock lights. So I put them on upfitter switches. I ran both the accessory wire and wire to all time power wire together. So that way, when I hit the off button, it shuts off because I already tried to hit the off button on the remote and it doesn't shut them off, it just dims them. So, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I don't want to get copyrighted. I flip the switch off, rock lights are off. Um, they're just melted in, mounted in by self tappers. That one's kind of hard to see, but yeah, I ran this wire up and it runs along that wire along the back of the firewall, just zip tied it to that. That one's mounted there. I do have to cut off the back ones here because how that's mounted and it runs up underneath and then it runs up on the frame. But in order to get the back ones in, I had to go through the fender. So I just gotta, I'm just gonna snip those off so they're flush and uh, it should be fine because this is uh, a uh, aluminum bed so that it won't rot. Another plus side. So I'm just gonna smooth them off and then uh, I'll take care of that. I could have did it a different way, but I didn't really know how else to do it, and I was sick of fucking with it. Oops. Yeah. And then they run up. And then the one on that side crosses over to this side. And then it runs up together. And these ones run up together about halfway up the truck, and then they go up in this corner. Um, everything's zip tied up. I tried to run everything with, the, with uh, previous wires in there already. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. There is a separate video on how to wire up the outfitter switches on the 2017 to 19 F250s and 350s, 2020s and upper the same, but just on the other side. So check that video out. That video will be up actually probably before this one. And uh, yeah, I'll get some better shots that night here for you guys quick and then. Uh, yeah, and then we got to move on to the next mod whenever that one shows up. But pretty easy for the most part. It was a pretty simple thing to do. There wasn't really a whole lot of wiring. The only thing I had to wire is because I didn't run into a fuse box, so I had to snip the power wires instead of uh, just plugging them into the fuses because they come with, well, the, these come with fuses and then they have ends where you just click them together and then you just click into your fuse box and your accessory wire would be the only one you'd have to to wire into either a switch or something else that you turn on that you want on with the rock lights kind of thing. So yeah, that's really all there is to it.
pretty simple. Um, took me only a couple hours, and I had a broken hand, and it took me a little longer, but it took me probably about two, three hours to wire everything and run everything and zip tie everything up. And uh, yeah, these are color shift ones. I will show you later tonight when it's dark out. So yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys when it gets dark here. All right, so it's finally dark enough outside. The yard light's kind of making it a little more difficult, but here she is. That looks so freaking good. I'm just gonna get some of the other side a little bit. These are color changing, but I can change them. Oh, the purple looks sick. So you got those little remote. Let's see if I can get in front of the truck here, get a little better. Yeah, see. This purple. I want the dark purple. Remote fucking the distance on this thing really sucks. I can't tell if it's changing or not. It's a dark purple on here somewhere. Just the dark this ain't the dark purple. I mean kind of. I mean that's more of the darker purple, I guess. Sick. But yeah, the colors aren't like super crazy changing. They're more of a, I guess that's kind of what you probably get for the cheaper ones. Maybe you don't have the, the colors aren't as vibrant, I guess, if you want to maybe call it. Hey, Bandit. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty sick. So I can't change them from back here like it just that box underneath the hood it just doesn't get very good uh distance and this isn't the one i can change from my phone sadly which eventually the one i upgrade to will then i can just kind of change it wherever and hopefully the better kit will work better but this is the 80 dollars kit <laughs> i mean for 80 bucks i mean you can't get much better because the one i want to go to is like 300 and some bucks so this is probably one of the best bang for your bucks kits you can get for rock lights for a four pod setup they i don't know if I, you guys remember but this is a dual lit one so there's two lights in each one they're tips so they kind of shine this way and this way um i mean best bank for your buck my one buddy's ran his on a couple trucks now and he's always had really good luck with them so i mean if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money but you want to run some rock lights get this kit i don't remember the name of it it's in the, uh, I don't know. I'll put it in the description. And it's also in the beginning of the video what the box is. So, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe. There'll be more videos, more tutorials. Kind of, this wasn't much of a tutorial, but be more install stuff. And uh, this truck's a long ways from done. So, there'll be a lot more stuff in this truck. Probably do some stuff in the trailer. That truck's gone, uh, gone here soon, hopefully. Monday, maybe. Depends when Trout can get it cleaned up sooner or better. But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.